Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your prenatal cardio low impact but advanced workout. What you're going to need today is yourself. It is body weight only, but also definitely grab something to hydrate with because we're probably going to need it. All right, here's today's format. We have four blocks today. Within each block, we have four different exercises, and we will repeat each exercise only two times through before moving on to the next block. Each exercise will be performed for 30 seconds, and we will have 10 seconds to recover after each exercise. The first time through, I will demo the upcoming exercise for you. I want you to rest. You just look at me for what's coming next. Now, 10 seconds isn't a very long recovery. It's super, super quick. So at the halfway mark, this total workout time is 21, a little over 21 minutes. So at the halfway mark at about 10 and a half minutes, we'll get a longer recovery and we'll get a, that drink of water. But if you need to at any point, feel free to hit pause, hit stop, take a little chill, and then meet me back when you feel good. All right, so a couple ways to modify this workout today because we may be in our first trimester, we may be in our third trimester, and everyone knows those are two different feelings and they're gonna, the extra, this workout will look different on everyone as well. So a couple ways to modify will be to slow down the pace. So 30 seconds, you control your own tempo. So I want you to find a tempo or a pace that is manageable for you. I'm gonna go pretty quick today because I've had requests, challenging, 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 and that's one way to do it is to pick up the tempo, but if needed, back off just a little bit, slow down that tempo. The correct tempo is your tempo. All right, modification or option number two today will always be to reduce the range of motion, especially on lower body exercises. Once you're in your third trimester, our squat may not look like that anymore. It may, it may not. If it does not feel good, if you feel a lot of pressure right here, what I want you to do is to reduce the range of motion. You'll still hit the same exact muscle group. We're just not going as low. Something I want you to be mindful of today is to engage your transverse abdominals when we do lower body exercises. So how do you engage your TVA? Inhale, let it all go. As we exhale, feel your pelvic floor lift slightly, and you should feel your uh, a gentle hug up of your baby just up and in. Very slight, it does not have to be full on, but make sure we are engaging your core slightly when we do those lower body exercises today. So when you hear me say engage TVA, which is your transverse abdominals, that's what I'm talking about. All right, enough of me talking, let's get to work. Grab your water, grab whatever you may need. We're getting to work. All right, first exercise of the day is going to be a jumping jack tap. So low impact, no jumping today. If you wanna jump, more power to you, you can jump. All right, so here we go. Jumping jack taps is just like a jumping jack, except we're gonna tap it and we're gonna be able to increase the tempo a little bit more. One thing I want you to be mindful of is to keep your hips level when we do that and we're not rocking side to side or letting the hip kind of sway out side to side. So that will cause you some pain in the long run. And that is always something we want to avoid. All right, 30 seconds of work. Let's go in three, two, and one. The, the clock has started. I'll keep cues to a minimum today, which for me is super hard. Keep your breath constant throughout. Halfway. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have a sumo squat to a calf raise, so wide stance. We bring it out heavy in the heels. We drive it through the heels, shift the weight into the toes, squeeze the calves, bring it down. Let's go. 30 seconds on. So right here, you could reduce the range of motion on the squat. That's what I mean. Heavy in the heels, on the toes. Squeeze the calves, back on the heels. Neutral low back. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have alternating curtsy lunges. Make sure we're driving through the heel and the knee is always staying behind the toe. We go, and three, two, and one. Keep your hip points level. So what I mean by keeping your hip points level is we're not rocking out to the side. Transverse abdominal 
it's engaged right here, here. Just a slight gentle hug up of the baby. Not full on, but we know the feeling. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, side shuffle. It's not a jump, it's a shuffle. So we're light on the toes. We bring it to one side of the mat, then the other, we go. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one, tap. I like to spread my arms to make sure everything's out of the way. Slight lean forward, that'll help with balance. Three, two, and one. All right, we're repeating that one more time through, then we move on to our next block. So jumping jack caps are next. You control your tempo, let's go. 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, sumo squat to a calf raise. Option, you can always reduce the range of motion on the squat or slow down the tempo. We go, three, two, and one. Let's work. Make sure your knees are driving out and they're not caving in. Low back stays neutral. TVA is engaged here. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, alternating curtsy lunge. Stay heavy in that front heel. Knee stays behind the toe. Reduce the range of, of, of motion as an option. Let's go. seconds three two and one all right side shuffle light on the toes hips stay level if we drew a line from point a to point b it'd be level to the ground below same thing with your shoulders less work Just keep your breath constant inhale exhale Ten. Three, two, and one. New block coming up next. We have repeaters. I'm gonna take it, dial down a notch. One nice long line. We tap that right toe in and out. We go in three, two, one. So something I want you to be mindful of is to keep this left hip completely still. So TVA core is engaged here, so we don't do this number. We want to keep it in tight. That standing leg will start to feel it. Keep that breath constant. Three, two, and one. All right. Now coming your way, we have four butt kicks. Dorsey flex, your butt is your target. To four punches on each side. Let's go. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, punch. Four, three, two, one, butt kick four. Three, two, one, punch. Four, three, two, one. Again, four, three, two, one, punch. Four, three, two, one, butt kick. Punch four. Again, four, three, two, one, punch, three, two, and we are done. All right, now we're coming back to repeaters. 
Left side will move, right foot is grounded. Keep your TBA engaged, right hip stay still. We go, now. exercise of this block is going to be a side shuffle but now we're gonna get lower in an iso squat and then add a calf raise at the top let's go side shuffle calf raise return side shuffle hold calf raise return One nice work. All right, we're going through one more time. Then we get a longer 30 second break to grab that drink of water. Repeaters, right side. Three, two, and one. Now, if you're early on in this pregnancy, you can bring the knee up slightly. You can hover the toe for more of a challenge. If not, if that's not happening, tap the toe. You can even bring the foot out at an angle instead of straight back. This hip stays still. Two and one. Four butt kicks, four punches. This one's fun. Have fun with it. Whew. We go. Three, two. Let's work. Four, three, two, one. Punch. Four, three, two, one. Again. Four, three, two, one. Punch. Four, three, two, one. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Punch. Four, three, Two, one, four, three, two, one, punch. Last round, four. Let's get those punches in. Four, three, two, and one. All right, repeaters at the side. Match whatever you did previously. One nice long line, TBA is engaged, let's go. You need to slow down the tempo here to make sure that right hip doesn't sway off to the side. You may get a burning sensation in the back of the right leg as well. Keep this low back neutral. I know it's easy to do this right now. Just be mindful of it. Neutral low back. Easier said than done right now, I know. Three, two, and one. All right, one more exercise. Then we get a nice little water break. Iso squat with that calf raise. Let's get to work now. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab that drink of water and then meet me back on your mat. All right, we're on to block number three. So we're gonna start with two hooks on each side, followed by two uppercuts on each side. So four total, four total. It goes one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds starts in three, two, and one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, uppercut. Whew. 
No rotation through that belly. Hips stay forward. Last two and one. All right, coming up next, we have three taps to one kick. We'll start on the right. So it goes three, two, one, and then we kick left as an option, low kick or just tap. And kick, it goes three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. You got it. And last one, nice work. Coming up, we have a side to side squat as an option, reduce the range of motion. So we're here, we're just side to side. We'll stand up in between, let's go. Squat, return, squat, return. Heavy in the heels throughout. Get the form down. Where are we feeling this? Hamstrings and glutes, where we want. Now we can pick up that tempo. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Three taps, one kick. We tap with the left, tap, tap, and then we kick right as an option. Low kick or just continue the side taps. Let's go. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. Kick, you got it. And last one. All right, we're going back to the top, starting with four hooks, two on each side to four uppercuts. Second time through. Let's work. Four, three, two, one. Uppercut. Four, three, two, one. Halfway. Hips stay level. Four, three, two, and one, nice, okay. We're going back to those three taps, left, right, left, and we'll kick right. So we'll just start where we ended from. All right, let's get to work. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, and one. We're coming to that side to side squat. Slow down the pace if needed. I'm gonna pick up the tempo this round, but my range of motion is gonna be slightly reduced. Let's go. Neutral low back, 15 seconds. Nice work. We're going back to those three taps, one kick. This time we'll tap right, left, right, kick left. You can kick low or just tap. Let's work. New block, final block. We're gonna start with a lunge to a squat on your right side. So heavy in this left heel, we bring it forward and then we squat it. Let's go. 
One lunge, tap, squat, tap. Lunge, tap, squat, tap. Option, reduced range of motion. Drive through the left heel, drive through both heels. Adding the tap in between makes it more challenging than both feet on the ground. You can change it up though. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're finally going forward. So we have a monster walk. Four, three, two, one. Then we're gonna take it back. Four, three, two, one. Less work. Four, three, two, one. Back. Four, three, two, one. Forward. Four, three, two, one. Have fun with it. Four, three, two, one. Forward. Four, three, two, one. Back. Four, three, two, one. Forward. Back. Four. And you're done. Okay, final exercise of this block. Now, second to last exercise is a lunge to squat on the other side. So just add that tap in between. Let's work. If needed, you can plant the foot entirely, slow down the tempo. But if so, we're right here, reducing the range of motion, picking up the tempo slightly, but with amazing form. Never let that form slip. Never compromise your form for the sake of speeding it up either. Three, two, and one. Nice, okay. Side shuffle with four punches is our final exercise of this block. So we side shuffle, four punches, then other side, 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Light on those toes. You need to just sidestep it. Final 10. And one, nice work. All right, we're going through that one more time, then we are done. So we have not a lot of time left. Okay, lunge to squat, right? We go, three, two, and one. Pick up the tempo a little bit on this round. If needed, slow it down. I'm really reducing the range of motion here, but keeping the form. Pump and swing the arms. Keep this hip quiet, so don't let it do that number. You got it, mama, come on. Three, two, and one. Monster walk forward for four, adding those jumping jack arms. And then as we go back, we're gonna add that punch. 30 seconds. Let's go. Have fun with this one. And last one, back, okay. Lunge to squat, left side moves. Keep your hip points level. TVA stays engaged. We go, three, two, and one. We can always stand on those railroad tracks instead of this balance beam right here. Stand on those railroad tracks. So just widen your face, your feet a little bit more. That'll help with balance. that breath steady. Three, two, and one. Final exercise, final 30 seconds. Side shuffle, four punches. This is it, we're done after this. We go in three, two, and one.
This is it, final 10 seconds, you got this. We're in this together, come on. Final five. Three, two, and one. Nice work today, mama. You rocked. <sighs> Grab that drink of water. We're gonna stretch here. Let's just work on slowing that breath down. Inhaling, filling up that entire rib cage. Exhale, match the length of the inhalation to the exhalation. All right, we are gonna come to the ground for stretching. So I said no mat. Uh, you can do this standing, but it may feel a little bit more better if we are down. So if you're on a hardwood floor, you know, you can skip the stretching entirely. I don't recommend it, but uh, join me for this super quick stretch. So heels in, toes out. Big deep inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, let's cactus the arms, draw the uh, elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Don't let the belly dip forward. We're just working on opening up the chest. We can look up, opening up the throat as well. All right, let's inhale overhead. As we exhale, grab a hold of this left wrist and take a little gentle side bend up and over to the right. Inhale up to center. If you wanna get a deeper stretch, you can cross this left foot over and take another side bend. This will challenge your balance a little bit more, so you may wanna stay right here. Inhale up to center, exhale, switch sides. If you wanna take a little step farther, inhale up to center, cross that right foot over and take a gentle side bend. You may feel that more in your hip a little bit more. All right, face the front of your mat, heels and toes out. Inhale, look up at the hands. As we exhale, hinge forward. When we can hinge no more, we're just letting that head hang nice and heavy. If you need to rest the hands on the quads, that's perfectly fine. Just try to feel a nice stretch along the backs of the hamstrings, a few yeses and nos with the head. All right, bring all swing to a complete stop. Bend the knees so much so that we can kind of get the fingers down to the mat. Step the right leg back, release the right knee, and just bring it on back. We're coming into a runner's lunge, widen your base. So my left foot is on the left side of the mat, right knee is pretty close to the right. Start to hinge forward very slightly, go into the stretch very, very slow, and then take this right arm up and over. Don't let the belly dip forward, but this will just intensify the stretch a little bit more along the front of that right hip flexor. Inhale up to center, bring that left knee down, right foot goes forward. Inhale, if you wanna take it one step farther, just reach that left arm up and over as well. Inhale back to center, let's go to a nice easy seat. So let's sit down on our mats. If we can, we're bringing the feet forward create more space by just bringing the feet a little farther away from you. Inhale up as we exhale, kind of drive the knees down and bring it forward just a little. So pull the chest a little closer towards the, the shoes, feeling maybe a stretch towards those inner thighs. Release it back up, bring your legs to a V. Mine won't go out very far, so as, as most comfortable for you, we wanna stay comfortable. Neutral pelvis throughout. Inhale up as we exhale. Take a gentle side bend up and over to one side. Inhale up to center, exhale other side. Inhale up to center, bring the feet together. If your body is craving any other stretches, do it. Nice work today, mama. You rocked. My name is Laurie and have a wonderful rest of your day.